Hey everybody, Dini Kong here with a quick tutorial on very simple video editing with Windows Movie Maker. Windows Movie Maker is Microsoft software, as you can probably guess. It's free to use and it's very, very quick and powerful for creating simple, simple videos. This isn't anything fancy like Adobe Premiere, but if you just want to compile some footage, add some music, this will get the job done quite quickly with far less frustration than some of the major editing software. Also, it's free. To get Windows Movie Maker, fucking Google it. It'll probably be the first thing that pops up. You'll be on the Microsoft website, and there'll be a big download now button, and a kid, and his mom, and some shit. Anyway, so, gonna click download now, and it's gonna download a, a Windows Essential pack. It's not just Windows Movie Maker. So when you get this, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't install all the extra bullshit that you don't want. Make sure you choose the programs that you want to install, and uncheck everything that isn't the Windows Movie Maker, and it comes bundled with a stupid gallery thing. So, you know, you're just gonna have to deal with that. But yeah, you probably don't want to look. MSN Messenger is, like, long deprecated. Just ignore the rest of them, and go ahead and install it. Then you can run Windows Movie Maker by going to your Start menu and looking at All Programs. It'll be in the root of All Programs. It won't be in a directory. Now then, welcome to Windows Movie Maker. Here on this screen, on the left side, we have our video preview, and the right side is simply our timeline. But before we start, I'm going to highly recommend you go up to your menu here, on the top left, and go to Options. And in the Advanced drop-down, you'll want to uncheck Prepare Files for Faster Editing. Um, I have not noticed that this makes anything faster, maybe if you're running on a toaster, but we all have gaming PCs here if you're recording video. So you can go ahead and just disregard that. It'll make uh, video processing much faster. Now then, we are going to drag and drop our video files into our timeline here. And you can just drag it from the folder into the timeline, and it will lay them out sequentially. Now if you hadn't unchecked the preparations button, then right now we'd be processing all of these videos and like going through all several hundred megabytes of it, so yeah, we, d we don't want that, that's dumb. But once they're all laid out, you can drag this little black bar here along to scroll throughout your video, or you can play it with the preview here. I'm gonna jump off the cliff and kaboom. Perfect. Okay. So I'll go ahead and pause that, and now, you know, this is looking fine, but there is some extra cruft at the beginning of this video, like, we don't care or want to show all this stuff about my UI, so we're going to scroll to the point where, and we can frame by frame here, we're going to scroll to the point where the UI disappears, which is right, right about here. Now, we can right-click the black bar, and set this as the start point of the video and it will trim off all the rest and automatically align it back where it was. Perfect. And toot and gonna go up and gonna jump off and oh, there's another point of unwanted UI stuff. So let's go ahead and cut this one off too right click set to endpoint and perfect all right now let's take a look at our second video just jumping 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 and well the UI doesn't even get in the way here so that's just perfect now let's say we want to split this into two parts let's say we want to toot our war horn and then we'll run up Simply drag the black bar to the point you want to split, right click it, and hit the split button. And now this video is two clips. And I'm going to put him jumping off at the end of him trying to get over the haystack, because that's good storytelling. So now as we can see, we're going to toot the war horn, we're going to try and jump over the haystack, and then we're going to jump off the cliff, and kaboom, and everything is all fine and dandy in the world. Well, 
this wouldn't be a swagtastic video if we didn't have some music. So, I am going to add some music. On the home page, there's an add music button. You can simply add music, either it'll overlay the whole video or at the current point if you so choose. I am going to select this song, Dubstep Dunes Act 1, which I believe was by Nico CW on YouTube. And let's see how that sounds. Pretty good, but it's completely drowning out the video. That's okay. So what we can do here is go to this Music Tools and lower the music volume. Lower it really low, because I know the video is quiet. And let's go ahead and pump up the video sound, too. Let's pump that up all the way on all three of the clips, just for good measure. Go ahead and check that again. That's better. Now it's like background music. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and pause this and let's um... Hmm. At the end of that video it pretty much just cuts right off and we don't really want that. So Let's just add a very simple fade out, call it medium length, I don't know the exact number of seconds, but let's see. There we go, it faded out. Perfect. So, let's say we want to add some video transitions between these. We don't just want to do a hard cut. We're gonna do some good storytelling. So. We can go to the Animations tab here, and Movie Maker has a ton of built-in transitions. I'd say even more than, say, Premiere does, although these are home-baked, or pre-packaged, so. Let's see, Crossfade, Blur. I like that Blur one. Let's do the Blur one. And let's do the transition between the Toot and the Run. What's this one look like? Zigzags. Blurriness, weird contemporary stuff that's hideous. Lines. Ooh, star wipe. Let's do the star wipe. And let's see. Pinwheel? No. Mosaic? No. Splooge? Yeah, let's do the splooge one. Perfect. Okay, so. Um, unfortunately, fading out is surprisingly difficult, so the best thing that you can do to fade out is simply add an empty title at the end. So drag that there, and we can just set the length of this to one second. And we're going to add... Let's do the heart. No. Let's do the stars. No. Pinwheel. There, I can add that. And play. Okay. I think that's all set. Now we can go ahead and watch this again. From start to finish. Toot the Warhorn. Star fade. Run through the camp. Try and jump over the hay bales. Get over the hay bales. Dodge. Attack. Hundy. Stand. Now run up the stairs, jump off, and boom, and the end. Alright, I'd say that's a video worth a hundred million YouTube dollars. So let's go ahead and save it now. Gonna click Save Movie, and we're gonna pick High Definition Display. And now your video will start encoding. And it'll be much faster than if you were to use something like Adobe Premiere. Um, simply because Windows Movie Maker does compress your videos. Uh, it's not really in a lossless format. You'll notice this when you're putting things up. But, um, well, for simple, simple things, this works just fine. And when you want to move into the big boy pants and go get yourself something like Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas, then... Well, you can jump in that boat, but for now, 
your Windows Movie Maker video should accomplish pretty much anything that you want to do if you're just doing simple clip shows, um, gameplay footage, raid nights, things like that. Um, Movie Maker is a very, very good choice for people just wanting to do simple, simple video projects, nothing too terribly fancy, and want to do things fairly quickly. Oh, and don't forget, while you're encoding, make sure you post on Twitter how much you're encoding. It's very trendy amongst the Guild Wars 2 community. But anyway, I hope that this video helps you beginners get an idea of how you can jump into video editing. There will be more advanced tutorials on this channel later on, so please stay tuned. And if this tutorial inspires you to start your own YouTube channel or start uploading your own gameplay footage, please shoot me a link. All of us Guild Wars 2 content creators absolutely love it when new people join in. So, be social, be awesome, and don't forget to buy a t-shirt.